Okay, so back at it again. It's been a sec, but uh, today's gonna be re installing a reshade, which is gonna change a lot of the graphics, relatively speaking, in Call to Arms or really any other game you want to try to apply it to. Um, I've only used these in some of the gem engine titles like Call to Arms, Men of War, Gates of Hell, that type of thing. I don't know how well or at all it works for other games, but you're definitely more than welcome to give it a shot. Um, it's pretty easy, you're just going to follow that link down in the description. Um, this is going to be for Windows, clearly, what I'm on. Don't know how this works, if at all, on Mac. But just going to be getting the most recent version of Resage, just going to run this .exe. As you can see, when this opens up, it's going to ask you to pick any game that you want. Um, we're obviously going to be going for Call to Arms, which I'm not going to do because I already have it installed on there. For the sake of just the installation process, I'll just use one of my Men of War games, um, but it works fundamentally the same. And I'll be doing all the configuring in Call to Arms, but you know, like I said, since I already have it installed there, I'm just going to put it here for now. Um, as far as I know, <clears throat> uh, all the gem titles are going to be DirectX. Um, Men of War, AS2 could be an older one, but I'm pretty sure it's at least DirectX 10. Um, for Call to Arms, that's what you're going to want to stick with as well. And let's see. Okay, so yeah, yours probably won't say this, because I guess I also have it installed for AS2. But it's probably going to be an install button somewhere here instead of modify. So you're just going to follow all of those. Um, when it comes to this, these are just going to be some of the packs, per se, that you can add into Reshade. Because there's a lot of different packs um, that people make. Um, it's really up to you for what you want. Going into this, you're probably not going to know what any of these are. Um, the standard stuff's probably good. If you want to look at other videos people have, um, going into these in depth for other, you know, uh, reshade tools that people have tried, then feel free to go for that. I honestly only have the standard ones installed for Call to Arms as well, which is what I use in my videos. But clearly, you're more than welcome to play around with those if you want. doesn't hurt. But check what you do want, what you don't. And you go to next. And it should install all on its own. And look at that. Nice and easy. Now, after you've got that installed, it is going to be time to open it up. Um, like I said, this is going to be for Call to Arms. But <clears throat> this does work fundamentally the same way in all of the gem titles. And it's actually pretty easy to set up. Um, now when it comes to how you're going to actually configure your reshade, that's where you have a bit of creative freedom. I'm going to go ahead and show you what I have set up for myself. This is just something that I put together um, after messing around in reshade for a while. Um, and it's not anything that I would say is particularly the best by any means. Um, but, you know, it's really up to what you like. As you can see, you should be able to tell Reshade's working, maybe. I don't know what the default one looks like. Mine's already loaded, so that's why you see like a bit of a weird title screen right here. Um, Reshade is going to affect everything in the game itself, which means some of the menu items might also have like make the text look weird and whatnot. So I'm just going to throw on a random environment here. You can probably tell right away if you're familiar with Call Arms that it does look significantly better than the vanilla one. So, what's going to happen is, if you want to mess around, you're going to have to get your home key. Um, different for everyone. Uh, my keyboard's a bit weird. I got my function key to then hit the home key. Pretty much once you hit home, this menu is going to pop up. And this is going to be clearly a reshade menu. So, I don't know what it looks like off the bat. Um, it might have nothing. Let me just close this. It might have nothing selected here. Um, like I said, this is just what I have. I'm going to show you my settings, and then uh, that'll be about it. So the Unreal Lens, pretty much once you check something, it's just going to instantly be toggled on. Um, as you can see, it gets fucking crazy. Some of these are broke. <laughs> but uh, first I've got is just the Unreal Lens. Um, the settings will come down here for each tool. So when you click on check, it will change the box down here for you know, what you can mess with. Um, Mine is, these are my numbers down here. If you want to copy them, like I said, it is completely up to you. Let me just turn off that Technicolor. Um, there you go. Put these down here. You can pause it if you want just to get some of those 
Um, artistic Vintage is my next one. Once again, you can pause if you want to get those numbers, if you want to copy mine. Mine doesn't work for every map. Some maps, some environments, it'll look a little wonky, maybe too bright, too dark. So really, you'll have to tweak some of these on your own, which just takes time just learning what they all look like. Uh, Magic HDR is next. Here are my settings for that. We've got the tracking rays down here. Just those settings. And then the last three, we've got DPX. There we are for DPX settings. We've got the HDR down here. These. And then lastly, we've got the tint. It's going to be this down here. So those are my settings. Pretty easy, like I said it would be. Um, they can be a little over the top sometimes. But as I said, mess around with it. See what you like, what you don't like. And um, yeah, reshade's pretty easy to use. Hope this was helpful and uh, can make some of your battles look more cool. So I will see you.